to take you into a place that he has already prepared before you got here. Nobody during the time of Moses' generation was alive when Abraham heard that voice from God. And so they were born as the seed of Abraham with blessing and with power and they were born with greatness inside of them because they were the descendants of Abraham and God promised him I'm going to bring them out so I can take them in well you are no different the Bible declares we are the spiritual seed of Abraham and you were born in this life for a purpose and greatness was born inside of you and God brings you out of sin to take you somewhere on purpose not just to be free and we get content with being average <laughs> the average person is too afraid to go back but lacks the will to go forward everybody looking at me too afraid to go back but don't have the will to go forward so you're just stuck not really on the earth not really on the moon you had just enough thrust to get to orbit and wander around in orbit for the rest of a spiritual life. Come on, somebody. Far enough from the fires of hell, but not close enough to touch the fire of God. Just in the middle. Just in the middle. Average is a curse, not a blessing. God never intended for you to be average. Never intended for you to be stuck in the middle. Yo, you out of hell, but you ain't nowhere else. Come on, somebody. And God has ordained greatness for you, not just being mediocre and not being average. Come on, are y'all hearing me? I like this definition of mediocrity. I think I've used it before, but either my wife has. I want you to hear it first, and then you can write this down. Mediocrity is a region bounded in the north by compromise on the south by indecision, on the east by past thinking, and on the west by lack of vision. <laughs> Let me say that again. Mediocre, mediocrity is a region bounded on the north by compromise, on the south by indecision, on the east by past thinking, and on the west by lack of vision. Just stuck in the middle. And our society has said the middle class is okay. Financially, God didn't intend for you to be a spiritual middle class. I said God never intended for you to be a spiritual middle class. You are supposed to be great. Tell that person beside you, you are supposed to be great. So I'm going to give you a couple of ways. To a because people will say, I'm not really like that, Pastor. I really love the Lord with all my heart. God knows my heart. Woo. Thank you. You are what your record says you are. I'm trying my best. God understand I got this going on. I got this to do and I got this and I got this and I got. You are what your record says you are. Let me give you some stats. And I told this young man this and then we'll, we'll have to pick it up next week. I, I told him this. I said, I'm so glad you asked. He said, I don't want to be average. I don't want to be. I don't want to be a typical Christian. What do I have to do to be great? I said, well, let me give an example then. The average Christian misses between 16 and 18 Sundays a year. That's the average Christian. They're gone between 16 and 18 Sundays a year. About a third, a third, a quarter of the time, they're gone. About a third of the time, they're gone. The average Christian gives less than 3% of their income to God. That's the average Christian. That is a statistical fact. The average Christian does not volunteer any of their time per week to serving God. None. The average Christian. I said, you want to be above average and you want to go beyond? Just go from being average to being good. And just doing those things, just coming to church consistently, just paying your tithe and just working in the kingdom will move you from average to good. Woo. Tell the person beside you are. What your record says you are. 
Well, you don't understand. The reason I ain't paid my tithe, Pastor, I'm, I'm, you know, I got to pay my life. You are what your record says you are. The reason I'm not there all the time, Pastor, because I mean, I'm, you know, I'm coming. I mean, I got to come every week to be saved. You are what your record says you are. Come on, somebody. One day, I'm going to serve him. I'm just so busy because I got work, I got my family, I got this, and I got this. I don't have the time. You are what your record says you are. And so God never intended for us to be average. Never intended for us to stay stuck in the level of mediocrity. Never intended for us to stay in the middle. You are supposed to be great. There is greatness inside of you. You cannot be great if you're stuck in the land of average. Come on, somebody. So I said, just doing those things will move you from being average to good. But to be great is a whole other matter altogether. Come on, everybody stay with me. I said, to be great is a whole other matter altogether. Turn it real quick. We've got to finish with this. 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15. See, that's the does. Remember when we read in Matthew chapter 5?